Hey guys, Sam here with Batch Stoves. And this weekend, I took the opportunity to mess around some more with this uh, new Bud Light bottle, the one with the screw top. And as I told you in an earlier video, it's made from a different al uh, it's made from aluminum, but it's made from a different um, grade of aluminum. Uh, I don't think it's quite as pure as the original bottle stoves. It's a lot lighter, and it's a little bit harder to uh, work with. Finally figured out how to work with it and cut it and shape it a little bit better. So I think I got all the bugs figured out with that. So that's a good thing. Another good thing is it's a lot lighter than the original bottle stove. So I think that's a plus for the alcohol stove uh, enthusiast. And for those that like the single wall, single piece uh, stove, I was able to figure that out. It's not really a big deal. It's actually quite easy once I figured out what steps needed to be done to do that. And if you're a fan of those stoves, I'm sure that um, they'll be available in the future as well. They're both, uh, both types of stoves are, I think, uh, good stoves. I prefer the two-piece design. It's just my preference. Now what I did was I, I I made several stoves with several different uh, jets, bigger holes, smaller holes, more holes, less holes, a combination of small and big holes. And what I found out is they're all within a minute of each other on boil times. Some are more fuel efficient than others. And this one I want to show you uh, was by far the most fuel efficient. So what I've got here is my 10 centimeter cook pot and I've got a 16.9 ounce water bottle here. So a little over two cups. A little over two cups of water. And we're going to be using uh, heat, gas line, and a freeze. And I've got one ounce of heat. It's just a one ounce fuel bottle. One thing I do uh, I did find out about this new stove is it likes to be primed otherwise it just takes way too long to bloom it takes a minute up to a minute and a half to bloom if you don't prime it so if you do prime it it's it's fairly quick and uh, let me show you how quick it blooms if you put a little primer fuel on there fairly quick start all right there we go a few seconds behind on our timer um as you can see the flame calms down pretty pretty quick and i want to show you if i can let me show you this flame pattern Very nice flame pattern comes just to the edge of my 10 centimeter pot. Notice how stable it is. It's very stable flame pattern. Pretty much right out of right off the bat, it's pretty stable. And previous test, this had a around a six and a half minute boil time. And you see the, hopefully we can see the thermometer, see the timer here. We're about a minute in. I'm real pleased with this, uh, really, really, really pleased with this new bottle. Uh, I was a little worried that once they got rid of the old bottle that we were going to have trouble with this new one. But once you figure out the bugs and learn how to work with it, it's just a small uh, learning curve. Turns out that it's going to be a quite quite a good stove because it's a lot lighter like I said before it's uh, 10 to 11 grams lighter the stove itself is 10 to a gram, uh, 10 grams lighter the bottle is a lot a lot lighter than the original one the the complete bottle and it burns good 
and it's very it's very fuel efficient a lot more fuel efficient than the original bottle stoves but I played around with different jets uh, this one's jetted uh, very similar to that one it's basically twice as many holes and I just staggered them and it actually gives a real smooth, a real smooth, complete, let me turn the light out, it gives a real smooth, complete flame pattern on the bottom of the stove. And that might help with the um, boil times on this stove. There's no mist area where it's not touching the pot. Uh, I also bored made one exactly like I make my original bottle stove same amount of holes this one has uh, the same size holes this one has a little bit bigger holes the one with the little bit bigger holes actually was a little bit more uh, had a little bit quicker boil time and was a little more fuel efficient and I made I was able to make a single single piece uh, bottle stove not a big deal um, turned out it was actually fairly easy once I once I took the extra couple steps it takes to make that stove not a big deal if you listen you can hear we're around 4 minutes and 50 seconds. Right at 5 minutes right now. At 5 minutes, we're at 194 degrees. You know, it always seems to take a little bit longer to get those last few degrees. 530, 529, 530, we're at 2.03. 204, 206, 208, 545, and this is where we're at, 545. And we'll let it go to six minutes. Six minutes, and we're at 212. Let's blow it out. Now, something that I was never able to do with uh, my original bottle stove was blow it out. And you saw that was fairly easy. So, what I'd like to do is I just want to see how much fuel I can reclaim. But, um, you can see we're at 210. It got up to 212, and now it's starting to drop down. And it was around six minutes, 545, six minutes. Those are great boil times. Of course, it's going to depend on your water temp. Let's we'll see if I can get this pot off of here, and then we're going to pour this fuel off. And see how much we can reclaim. Now, I want to show you how much fuel is actually in here. I don't know if you can see that, but you can see... There is quite a bit of fuel left in there. Quite a bit of fuel. So let's pour this off. If I can pick this stove up. Okay, yeah. Uh, I just got a uh, can here. Bottom of a let's, can. Let's uh, pour this off. Show you there's nothing in there. Well, there is something in there. There's like an aluminum shaving in there or something. Alright. Let's pour this off. Of course, you're not going to be able to get all the fuel out of the stove, but we'll get most of it. And, uh... There's still some in the rim there.
think we got most of it. You can see there's still a little right in the rim there. Well, doesn't want to come out. See, we're burning out. <laughs> Look at that. There's enough left there to cause the stove to flame up. Alright, I think we got it all now. Okay. So I have a little measuring cup here and it says... And this camera, this light, if you can see, maybe it's better without it. All right, can you see that? It says uh, 15 milliliters. Uh, let me pour this, let me be able to see. Pour this in here. So, don't know if you can see that. Let me see if I can zoom in and let you get a look. Don't know how well that turned out, zooming in, but it is right at... Right at, actually a little above... The 15 milliliter arc so purity fuel efficient I reclaimed uh, 15 milliliters that's a uh, half ounce is that right so we reclaimed uh, reclaimed 15 milliliters a very fuel efficient uh, stove. Very lightweight, very fuel efficient. I'm real happy with this stove design. And actually, um, I think that a lot of people are going to want this stove. So I may start offering these stoves right away before the old bottles are even gone. Stoves. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you for watching the videos. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Uh, and have a great day.